Zip's on a guy here. Let's roll. Hey folks, Arizona guy here. It is March 20th, 2022. So what's happening today, folks? Phoenix, Arizona. It is 70 degrees. It's very nice. It's uh, about 11.30 Sunday morning. So let's talk about the People's Convoy in Washington, D.C. It is still going on. And my dash cam just fell off the window. Anyway, it's still going on. There's been some interesting things that have taken place. So the other day, the People's Convoy were crossing, I believe it was the Potomac River, and some guy on a motorcycle, I guess it was like a small crotch rocket, came up and just dropped it in front of one of the trucks in the convoy and walked away from it. Just left it there on the highway. Crazy. So the police came and I guess got the bike and got the guy or whatever. And then also they had some idiot guy in a white Tesla that was brake checking the trucks pulling in front of them slamming on the brakes so I guess he was surrounded by several of the truckers and they held him until the police came I mean you have to realize that some of these people just absolutely hate freedom. They just do. And they'll do anything to stop progress on freedom. It's completely appalling, folks. And I watched one video where they, uh, a few of the cars in the convoy had gotten downtown or a couple of the uh, trucks had gotten downtown. And all these leftist people were just out there, you know, flipping the truckers off. And they're, of course, wearing masks outside. It's just ridiculous. You know, some people want to wear these. Some people want to wear these masks. They just want to. Well, if they want to, that's fine. They can wear them for the rest of their lives, for all I care. But don't be against people that don't want to wear them. You know, that's just crazy. So anyway, I guess the uh, People's Convoy, the leaders, have had meetings with some of the Congress people. And things are looking up. It's my understanding that more trucks are coming up from maybe Florida and Texas to join the People's Convoy. You have to realize, folks, that the People's Convoy is about people's freedom and liberty for all Americans. It's not just the truckers protesting. I mean, it's the American people. The people's convoy, the truckers. And it's absolutely fabulous. It's a great movement. And like I've told you guys, you can participate even though you're not there. You know, just put a put a flag on your car, right on your back window. You can either put, I am part of the People's Convoy, or I support the People's Convoy. Just take some shoe polish, write it on your back window. You can support the People's Convoy from anywhere in the world. 
but they're doing very well. Like I say, a couple of weird things have happened, but they're not committing any crimes. They're not doing anything wrong. They're not impeding traffic. They're doing it the right way. It's the DC Metropolitan Police Department that are blocking exits and impeding traffic. It's not the trucks. And I haven't really seen but 15 seconds of the People's Convoy on any of the mainstream media channels. But I guess, you know, like some of the DC uh, newspapers are reporting that the, oh, the truckers are driving slower than the speed limit, the truckers are impeding traffic, the truckers are blocking traffic. Folks, Honestly, none of that is true. The truckers are just driving on the highway. 55 miles an hour is the minimum speed limit in that area. They're on the highway. They're driving 55 miles an hour. And they have mechanics on duty. If one of the trucks break down along the route, they get the truck off to the side a couple of them stay with the trucker to make sure he's fine that nobody's gonna attack him and things like that and then the mechanic shows up and they hopefully fix the truck or they tow the truck and they get it out of there they are not blocking traffic or impeding traffic so it's the news media that is going to spin all of these stories against the People's Convoy. Because in Washington, D.C., and Democrats around the nation, they hate freedom. They do not want the American people to have freedom. I mean, think about it. They wanted to label parents who were interested in school board meetings who were interested in their children's education they wanted the parents labeled as terrorists just because they were going to these school board meetings and speaking out because they're concerned about their children's education they're concerned about their children's future. So they were there, giving the school board a piece of their mind. But the Democrats wanted to label them terrorists or extremists. The other day there was a man carrying a U.S. flag at the Lincoln Memorial, I believe, and the DC Metropolitan Police wanted to label him an extremist because he was carrying an American flag on a pole at the Lincoln Memorial. Folks, this is what you're dealing with. This is why it is so important that all of us, all of us together as a nation, write contact call, email our elected officials and let them know exactly how we feel. The government is not there to mandate our freedom. The government is there to give us our freedom. Our freedom comes from God as written in the Constitution. We are one people, one nation under God. The government is there to enforce the laws that man puts forth. They are not there to mandate our personal freedoms and our personal liberties. And this is what the truckers convoy or the people's convoy 
is all about. Protecting American freedom and American liberty. But, you know, it's crazy. Some people, a.k.a. Democrats, hate freedom. <clears throat> Remember? Remember when it comes to abortion? Their big thing when it comes to abortion is my body, my choice. So, it should be the same way for getting a vaccine. If you don't want the vaccine, you shouldn't be made to take it. It should be my body, my choice. I choose what goes into my body. This is a mantra that the Democrats have used for decades. Why don't we all have that freedom? My body, my choice. So anyway, that's what the People's Convoy is all about. Some people just don't get it. You know? You should have the freedom to do what you want as you want. And that's all these truckers are trying to get through the people's heads in Washington DC you cannot mandate my body to get a vaccine it's personal choice so anyway folks it's just kinda crazy you know but I'll tell you something funny the hypocrisy in Washington DC is absolutely insane I think you guys all know this. So I was watching a video and these people were walking around by the, I believe it was the Smithsonian Museum. And there's all these signs, you know, on intersections and streets that say no delivery trucks. Okay? It's a no truck area. Big signs. You know, no trucks. But yet, food trucks line the streets. So what's the difference between a delivery truck and a food truck? They're both trucks, but the food trucks are allowed and the delivery trucks aren't allowed. So how do people receive their Amazon packages and things like that? If you live or work in D.C., how is Amazon or UPS or FedEx delivering packages in the no-truck areas? But I guess everybody wants to eat, so food trucks are allowed. Food trucks okay, delivery trucks not okay. Isn't that kind of strange? But, like I said, the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy in Washington, D.C. is off the chain, man. Our elected officials truly do not know what they're doing. The more I see Washington, D.C., the more I see it. So the Metropolitan Police are blocking off ramps and on ramps and then they want to blame the truckers for impeding traffic folks I'm telling you it's just unbelievable so y'all need to get out your laptops and your cell phones and your whatever you got and contact your elected officials and tell them how absolutely crazy this is and that you support the People's Convoy. You support freedom in America. I mean, if you go back and look on the bridges across the nation from California to Hagertown, Maryland, most of the bridges were lined with American citizens you know, holding flags, don't tread on me, 
you know, American flags, the people convoy flags, you know, millions of people are representing the people's convoy out of Hagerstown, Maryland. So, I mean, let's all get together and support the people's convoy, no matter what part of the country you live in. You know, put flags on your car, right on your back window, freedom, whatever. I support the People's Convoy. And then make a video. You know, let's get these videos all up over YouTube and Rumble of we the people supporting freedom. Like I say, folks, we all have to make our voices heard. It's what we do as Americans. Tell them to shove their vaccine mandates. They're letting people go from the military that don't want the vaccine. Hospitals have fired hundreds of thousands of doctors and nurses because they refuse to get the government mandated vaccine. If you want the vaccine, get the vaccine. If you don't want it, don't get it. You know, that should be the mantra in America. But for the military to let soldiers go because they don't want to put something in their body, why, why would we want to diminish our military? Um, because a soldier doesn't want to get a government-mandated vaccine. Why would we want to fire a doctor? who's in the healthcare business every day that doesn't want to get a vaccine. Emergency responders letting go police and fire and ambulance people because they don't want to get a vaccine. Why would we want to do that? That's just crazy. But that's what's happening, folks. That is the real world. That is what is taking place in America. It's obscene. Anyway, folks, that's what I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment. Give the video a like. Share it with your friends. Let's make our voices heard, all right? All right, folks, have a wonderful day. Arizona guy. Out.